Hello, this is Brother Cromer from the Math Department here at BYU-Idaho, and this is a supplement of Lesson 19 dealing with two proportions, but with SPSS commands. And these are similar SPSS commands that we deal with one proportion, but it'll be a twist because now we're dealing with two proportions. So first of all, I'll talk about data entry, followed up by weighting cases, and then pie charts, and then bar charts. So first, let's start with data entry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take data that Elise Johnson put together, a student here, and out of 66 um, out, of, out of 66 females, 51 could taste PTC, and out of 52 uh, males, 38 could taste PTC. So I'm going to input that information into SPSS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in male, male, female. Oops, I can't I can't type in more than than uh, four characters here. Now why is that? Well, what SPSS does is that whatever string variable you put in first, it's going to assume it's going to be that length. So, so it's assuming that I have a, have a length of four for a string for the string variable. So all I need to do is just increase that width to six. And then if I go in back in here and type in female, it'll work. Okay. And then I just can expand this a little bit so you can see it. And then, so that'll be so on the variable view, I can also call it gender here. And then the next one is, uh, can you taste PTC, yes or no? So I'll just type in Y for yes, N for no. The same thing for the female. So notice that I have for each category, males who can taste PTC, males that don't, females that can, and females that can't. So I'll call this uh, taste, taste, if I can spell taste, PTC. And then the last variable we're going to have is count, okay? And so count, and let me just go back to this data here. So 51 out of 66 females. So I'm going to type in 51, but I'm not going to type in 66. I'm going to type in those that can't, which is 66 minus 51. So that'll be 15. And then for the males, it'll be the same deal. Well, I'll take 38 that can taste it, but 14 that can't. Okay, and so I'll create, I'll call this variable count. All right. So now I now that is the data entry, and that's how we enter our data for the problem, where we have a column for gender a column for yes and no, and then a column for the count, okay? So the next item is we're going to deal with is weight cases. So since each row represents a group of data, I'm going to do, so this is summary data, I'm going to go to data weight case, cases, I'm going to weight cases by count, okay, and then click on OK. So weight cases by count. And so the next thing that we do after that, so that's step number two. Step number three is let's create a pie chart, okay? So let's go to analyze, excuse me, not analyze, graphs, legacy dialog. We're going to do a pie chart, okay? Now what we used to do, now what we're going to do is we're going to define slices by the yes, no variable. So taste PTC. We, what we want to do is we want to create a pie chart, one for each gender, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take gender, and you can either put it in the rows box or the, or the rows box or the columns box. Put it in the rows box, it stacks the graphs or the pie charts one on top of the other. If it's in the columns box, it's side by side. I prefer sticking in the columns box, so that's what I'm going to do here. And so when you click on OK, you're going to see a, an out, output that looks like this. If you double click on the chart, if you click on elements, show data labels, you'll get the percentages. And we, you've seen this before. And then I'm going to add count as well, so I'm going to go down here, click on count click the up arrow and then click on apply and then voila you have you have the counts as well okay now also so finally the last item is dealing with bar charts so let's go back to SPSS I'm going to go to graphs legacy dialog and I'm going to go to bar and then click on define it's we're just going to do a simple bar chart and then I'm going to put in again the category axis similar to define slices by I'm going to put in taste PTC that's the yes no variable and then I'm going to put in gender under the under. You can either put this in row or columns. It doesn't matter. I'll just stick it in columns here. And if I click on OK, I'm going to have two uh, bar charts, two groups, uh, uh, two groups, one for female, one for male, of, of uh, two bars. Uh, so two bar charts. And so if I double click in here, and if I do elements, show data labels, now it'll give me the counts here. And then I click on percent, click on my up arrow, click on apply and then you will get the percentages as well. And so that's how we can create uh, graphs uh, using SPSS for two proportions, and that concludes the video.